Hello, my name is Linus and yes, I'm wearing a headband and I'm going to make a video about hats again. I know it's like my third video, but I'm not actually going to be talking about hats. I'm going to be talking about other things. The reason is that I keep, I keep getting comments on my videos about hats, fedoras in particular. And I keep getting comments from people being like, oh, fedoras are gay, you know, like the, these these lame people who are just jumping on the hate fedora bandwagon because that's what people do nowadays so because i like fedoras and i don't see the problem with them i decided to make a video of the top 10 things you can equip that are worse than fedoras uh, yet people still wear them and think they're cool anyway uh, that's probably not going to be the name of the video but it's like the t top 10 things you can equip that are dumber than fedoras. Number 10. High heels. And I'm going to have to explain myself because I don't want people to just suddenly hate on me for that. The reason why I say high heels is because they don't make any logical sense to me. Uh, not the high heel per se, but the fact that you wear them in a situation where it's not applicable. Uh, what I mean is that, we, uh, a high, okay, that, this is not debatable, the high heel is designed to make uh, your legs look longer, it pouts your butt out, it, it makes you walk in a more sensual way, it, they're designed to make you more attractive, more sensual. However, you wear them in like social events and, and, and business meetings and, and like high class places where it, the concept of making yourself look more hot just kind of goes against trying to look professional like if you nobody wears your high heels to the club right so why are you wearing them to the business meeting it just doesn't make any sense in my head they're, they're meant to make you look it's an artificial thing and you you kind of making yourself look like you're trying to just look good artificially kind of thing uh, and that is why my number 10 is high heels. If you, here's the thing about this list, it's my opinion. So if you don't agree with that and you like high heels, that's perfectly fine. But I don't get it. Number 10. Number 9, speaking of not getting it, weaves. Now, you're not fooling anyone, not even yourself, when you're putting pieces of fake hair into your hair to make it look like you have more hair. Like, uh, w uh, there, there's no way of explaining what a weave is without making it sound retarded. And that's the main problem I have with it. You're, it's like, you know, fake eyelashes, fake fingernails, they're all pretty silly. But putting hair in your hair is not like, it's you're putting half a wig in your hair. You, you, here's the problem. It's when you come home, you have to take it out, right? You're not, nobody's gonna get fooled. You can't get a... You're not gonna go out and be like, oh, I'm extra pretty today, when you're in reality, you look the same, you just have fake hair in your hair. It, it's a ridiculous concept, and you're just fooling yourself if you believe that actually makes you prettier. So I, like, I, I just don't understand why that exists. If, like, if you're like, oh, you could have different colored slings, but you could, or whatever it's called, like, you, you, fine, but you can do that, you can, you, you can color your hair, you know, you don't have to clip hair in your hair. It sounds kind of gross as well, if you ask me. So that's why number nine was waves. Number eight, Uggs. And this is another one of those, uh, the internet is jumping on the bandwagon things where people are hating on Uggs simply because the internet is telling them to hate on Uggs. And that's lame and you shouldn't just be following the crowd like that. And that is why I dislike Uggs as well because of the crowd following aspect. See, the reason why people wear clothes is one, to protect your body from the elements and two, to give yourself some kind of individuality so you, so you don't just look like everyone else because everyone looks the same when you're naked, um, give or take. Uh, and the, the, the thing is that if, if everyone's wearing the exact same clothes, then you're just clones. You're, you're losing your individuality. Like, what, what about, what, 
See, my girlfriend likes Uggs because they're comfortable and warm and fussy. And I'm like, you know what? That's a good point. I could, like, you know, those uh, those uh, shoes you wear indoors, those big, fluffy, softy shoes you can wear indoors. I could, I could picture wearing that out in the winter. But why do they have to be tan Uggs? Why can't you just wear black or green or something? You know, don't just stop dressing up like everyone else. It's kind of sad. And I don't like the mentality. Therefore, number eight, Uggs. Number seven, uh, leggings in the middle of winter. Now, uh, my girlfriend wears leggings because she, we can't afford proper pants. You know, her pants are getting old and breaking and like she's wearing leggings because we don't have much else. Uh, and she doesn't like it because, you know, it's, they're supposed to be worn under your pants. That's what leggings are for. They're not actually pants. That's not really the problem I have with them. Because if you want to wear skin tight, half transparent pants, go ahead. I, you know, I don't mind that. The, the, the problem I have is when you go out in the middle of winter wearing, um, wearing leggings and then complain about how cold you are. And it happens all the time, especially in school where girls just try to look, you know, modern or whatever. You can go out wear whatever you want, but don't complain about how cold it is and expect me to give you my jacket when you dress yourself in the morning. That's all I'm asking. Number seven. Was it number seven? That's all I'm asking. Number six. Sports shirts. Or whatever those are called. You know, the um, those shirts that looks like a sportsman's shirt that has like the, the, the number and the little name. Like, listen, you're not, you're not an actual sports guy just because you dress up like one. Um, all you're doing is you're cosplaying as your favorite athlete, which is pretty lame. <laughs> Considering the guys who wear these shirts are normally the, the tough guys kind of thing. It's pretty gay how they just wear matching outfits with their, uh, their favorite guy. Not that there's anything, anything wrong with being gay. I'm just saying it's funny how... They're doing it a bit gay. And it's it, like the problem I have is that they're not, you're not a sportsman. You're, you, you, what, you're, the, the thing you're wearing is stupid looking. You, you're not actually part of that team. I understand the mentality. Like, you know, people, you know, humans are herds, race kind of people. We, we want to, like, you know, I live in this town. I'm going to root for my home team kind of thing. But don't dress up like them and expect to be part of their team because... When they stop playing that sport, they don't go home and wear those clothes. You're just cosplaying as them as they're looking when they're playing a game. And when they go home, they wear normal clothes. So, so you're not turning into a cool guy. You're just looking like an idiot. Number six. Number five, uh, and this is a problem I have always had where uh, I wear a fedora because I like how they look. For, well, not first, well, you know, split first of all. And second of all, because they, they keep the sun out of my eyes and they keep rain out of my neck, they keep my head warm in winter. It's a practical headpiece, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like fedoras because of that. They're very useful and I think they look good. So number five is people wearing caps, baseball caps and such, backwards. Because that's not what a cap is supposed to be. It's supposed to keep the sun out of your eyes. Nobody wears a cap to keep rain out of their necks because who goes outside wearing nothing but a cap? You, you look like an idiot like who doesn't know how hats work. Uh, it, yeah, I guess it came from the whole rapper industry. You know, people did that and then people copied it because they thought it would be cool. Copying someone isn't cool, it's the opposite. It, it, got to the, it got to the extreme where I actually saw a couple of years ago on MTV a rapper who was wearing his cap uh, backwards and upside down because I guess he was trying to do something new and that's just lame as well. Don't try to do something new. Don't try to look like cool people. Just be yourself and wear hats properly. You look like, like you, this, it's... 
it you're just wearing a tiny beanie or whatever it's called if you're wearing the cap back because you're ruining the point of the cap number five four um hipster glasses or whatever you want to call them giant fake glasses if you if you need glasses that's fine but there's a lot of people wearing like giant glasses that aren't actual glasses they're just like they're just glass they're you know there's no prescription on them they're just giant glasses it it looks silly and the, the main problem i have is that i like sunglasses because i don't you know i don't like the sun i'm slight sensitive uh i can't find sunglasses that are small anymore because all sunglasses are this giant 80s aviary style hipster glasses and even the people in the glasses store thinks that's kind of silly and they don't know why that is they don't sell all kinds of glasses anymore they only sell what's popular hell when last time i was in a glasses store that was the case maybe nowadays it isn't point is the giant glasses thing is silly and i hope it stops because it's ruining the small glasses concept number four number three i uh, i'm a bit biased on this one because when i was in uh, school i was bullied by the you know the main bully guy was this guy big burly guy who was wearing a feathered vest like a feather filled vest it like <laughs> I live in Sweden, right? It's cold here. You're wearing a feather-filled jacket, but you forgot the arms and the sleeves. Why is why why is that? Why aren't you wearing the complete outfit? You it looks silly. A vest isn't supposed to be feather-filled because it defeats the purpose of a feather-filled object. Uh, and the guy, the guy, I you know, I dislike the guy, so I'm maybe a bit biased about this one. But it just it just. The people who wear these things are the same people who wear the caps backwards and it just makes them look like they're trying to be cool and you're not cool. Unless you're Marty McFly, you shouldn't be wearing a feather-filled vest. It's all I'm saying. Number three? Okay, number two. This is a classic, uh, I guess. Pants around your ankles. You know, pants that are falling off your pants or legs. Here's the, here's the thing. If your pants are, you know, halfway down your legs, your pants are not static, they're falling, they're currently falling off. You're walking around and your clothes are, in fact, falling off your body. And that, to me, is silly. Pretty silly. Uh, because you're wearing a static object, like pants, that even come with the accessory of belts to make sure that they stay static and you're wearing them in a falling motion <laughs> i don't understand it's a silly thing and it's unpractical and it makes you look like you have a diaper on nobody thinks this is cool anymore not that it was cool to begin with so why are people still doing it it's the, it's the, I, well i know why and i'll tell you why it's because of the same reason why it started People started wearing this, like going into history lesson. People started wearing baggy pants because they were, you know, back in the day there were rappers and, and such who were broke. They were living in the hood and whatever. Uh, and they, uh, they couldn't afford pants. They were wearing their parents' clothes. They were wearing their dad's pants. The dad pants were, were too big and they were sagging. That's why they were wearing it. Then they became rappers that became famous and they were, that was just a look to make it look like they were from the hood because that was what people wore in the hood and therefore it became a thing to just look like that. And people copied people like that because they were rich and famous and they thought that they would look rich and famous as well. So, you're dressing up like a hobo. You're dressing up like a poor person trying to look cool. That's how far society has gotten where we're actually cosplaying as hobos because hobos are cool. Do I, do I have to actually explain why that's silly? It's retarded. I don't... I don't understand it to the point of it pissing me off and it's kind of frustrating. 
if they were doing it to stick it to the man and be like, oh, I'll show conformatists or whatever, then, then I guess they're succeeding. But the people doing this are not the smartest people around. They're normally the same people who wear feathered vests and caps backwards, and they're normally the people who do stupid shit and die from it. And and then that you you think that would be good, but I, I don't I don't want people like that around. They're wasting space. Might sound hateful, I guess, but that's fine because number two, and finally number one on my list of stupid things to equip that is dumber than fedoras. And the reason why I say equip is because this is in a piece of clothing. Um, is smartphones. Uh, Generally just smartphones in situations where you should be paying attention to the rest of the world You know when you're in a pub or a restaurant you have your friends there You know or you're sitting with your family at the table and your face is down in your smartphone When you're walking into polls because you're reading your Twitters Or when you're driving a frigging car and you're too busy looking at your phone to notice stuff on the road now when I was a kid People, you know, fads happened, like um, Tamagotchis, I guess, like, oh, it's a thing, like, oh, everyone wants a Tamagotchi now, and I'm like, you know, I had a Tamagotchi, I'm like, that. this is a phase, people will get over it. I didn't expect those people to actually grow up, get driver's licenses, and switch to Tamagotchis for phones. I thought these people would, well, grow up, you know, I thought that they would realize that you can't be, you... Being social on the internet doesn't mean anything if you're uh, if you're unsocial in real life. You can you can be on Twitter or whatever, but don't do it when you're trying to be social with your friends or family or in a car when you need to do something else. It's just disrespectful and rude. Uh, my girlfriend has a thing for um, Instagram and such, and when we watch movies, she normally just has her nose down in her uh, phone. And it's like she can pay attention to two things at once. So she's actually pretty good at watching the movie at the same time as she's doing stuff on Instagram. But I, I just feel like I'm, we're missing a moment when we're watching a movie and she's sitting there doing things. Uh, she might still be paying attention to the movie, but it just feels like there's something they're missing. Therefore, not that therefore, but that's one of the reasons why I, I feel like smartphones should be something you try to limit to when you're alone or when you're not actually wanting or needing to be talking to people. And that's my list. The reason why I made a list like this is because I get annoyed at people all the time for wearing stupid shit. People wearing fedoras, however, never annoyed me. It Unless they're doing it indoors, in which case, you know, in, unless it's a public place, but uh, like... If, there's nothing wrong with fedoras. There's nothing wrong with the, the fedora. It's just one of those things where people are hating on it because you're supposed to. You should be hating on any of these other things. Because those things are way dumber. Nothing dumb about fedoras. Unless you're one of those hipster guys who, who make it look dumb, I guess. But that's not really the fedora's fault. It's your fault. But anyway... Uh, yeah, that's my video. I'm gonna stop because it's getting a bit long. So if you like this video, thumb it up. Bye. I hope, hope you have a good day. I don't know. I can suck at ending videos. Bye.